Wow, hello everyone. Happy Easter. It's really nice that uh, we can get back. I hope you're having a uh, happy holidays, even as we continue celebrating Easter. And uh, it's been long, you know, long time. And uh, I'm really privileged that I can be able to be here. You know, my name is Liz Odualo for Lapis Lazuli, and I'm always so excited. <laughs> To be able to be here and just be able to share you know some of the convictions i have especially on being a christian but above all knowing christ and um, just being able to know that he is our firm foundation and so i hope you're having a great time i hope you're enjoying yourself i know life has been tough life has been challenging in many many ways but we thank God because he has kept sustaining us. You know, every day we thank him for being God. You know, the last few weeks uh, we've been busy, you know, doing things, traveling here and there. And that's why we've not been on lapis. You know, we got to travel to Arusha, Tanzania, and uh, we're able to visit the church there. We're able to visit the disciples. There are many greetings from many of them. You know, we were able to see uh, our baby. You know, we've been calling her our miracle baby. Soon we'll be doing the video on uh, her and just how God was able to open a way for her to be conceived after 12 years. You know, just check out, you know, our video is going to be coming soon. But also after that, we were able to go uh, visit uh, the church in Dar Salaam. And uh, it was just amazing, you know, to see the, the, the brothers and sisters in Dar es Salaam. And I think for me, what encourages me every time I get to travel and meet other Christians is to know that, yes, people are going through different challenges in different parts of the world, but they are keeping on pressing on. You know, they keep pressing on and no matter what. And so I think for me, that really builds my faith to know that, yes, your brothers and sisters all around the world are going through the same, same situations that you're going through. And if they are, they are going to make it, then we are going to make it. So, you know, hope that encourages you to know that, uh, it, it, you know, there were a lot of greetings from them, you know, a lot of love. They sent a lot of love. And it was really, really exciting. You know, uh, we were also very privileged. I think for me, one of the things I love uh, doing is when I'm traveling, just to see the sunset, to see the ocean, the, you know, nature. I love really, I really love nature. And so being able to see the sun setting, uh, it was really, really, really awesome. I think that was just, I mean, it was just, just seeing the beauty of God. You know, in real life, you just see, you know, how the sun is setting slowly and surely above the ocean. And that was really amazing. So, you know, after that, we came back. We were able to travel up country. You know, my father in love uh, was celebrating his 81 years. You know, uh, they say that life, um, in this life is short. And it's true. But I think just seeing him at 81 strong. Uh, you know, enjoying, appreciating, you know, seeing his grandchildren, um, uh, um, you know, reciting for him, how much they appreciate him, how much they value him. And just, just, it was just such an emotional, but very fulfilling and encouraging and exciting time. So that's where I've been the last two weeks. And so I've been very, very encouraged, you know, to still see God. And um, I don't know what you're going through right now, but just to know that God will see you through. God will see you through. So as we celebrate Easter, I don't know what comes to your mind, but I just thought today as I get to share, I can be able to share about um, uh, Easter and uh, why we celebrate Easter. You know, there are times we celebrate, we do, we have celebrations and uh, many times it's so easy for us to just stay home because at least we are not going to work and, uh, you know, just go through the motions. But I always say it's important for us to ask ourselves, what is the, uh, what is the reason for the season that we are in. And so uh, the reason for the season that we are in right now, which is Easter, is not just for us to be happy and uh, merry-go-lucky and eat your party and all the things that we eat, but it's for us to be able to realize what Jesus went through on the cross because of you and I. And then get to know and see that after all he went through, was it worth it? Was it worth it? 
So that's what I'm going to be talking about. So when you look at uh, the Bible, in the book of Matthew 26, you can read the whole of it and verse 20, chapter 27, chapter 26 and chapter 27. It just talks about the, 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 the journey to the cross. And I think for me, it starts by just talking about how Jesus suffered. You know, and as I look at how Jesus suffered, I think for me what mostly touches me is to know that he was doing all this because of my sin, because of me, Liz, because of me and the choices that I have made or that I make on a daily basis. And that because of these choices that I made, the sins that I fell into or have fallen into or I fall into because we still sin up to today, sometimes knowingly, sometimes unknowingly, that because of these things that I did, they made Jesus go to the cross because somebody had to shed blood and the only blood that could cleanse us was the blood of jesus and so jesus was able to accept to go to the cross because of my sin and because of your sins so that he could set us free you know the death on the cross was very humiliating he was betrayed by his best friends. He was denied. Can you imagine your best friend saying, uh -uh, I don't even know her. I've never even seen her. You know, or I've never even seen him. Who is he? You know, that's the kind of situation Jesus found himself in. You know, betrayal. You know, I know one of the things I really, uh, um, um, I really value loyal uh, friends. You know, and so every time a friend betrays me, it really hurts deeply. Probably because I really value loyal loyalty, you know, and I keep thinking about Jesus and how his best friends, the people he had worked with for like years, they're the ones who betrayed him. Someone like Judas, you know, she 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 saw he sold Jesus, you know, and um, uh, betrayal is so painful. Jesus was mocked. Jesus was made fun of. They stripped him. They even created a crown of thorns and pressed on his head to humiliate him. You know, a crown is put on a king. And so they are putting the crown. They definitely recognize he's a king, but they, they, they are humiliating him. They're bleeding. You can imagine how... Uh, they, 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 as they are pressing those, uh, the, the, the thorns, you know, and definitely the thorn was long, and when they are putting it on his head so that he can continue bleeding. You think about the humiliation that Jesus was feeling. Think about the suffering. Think about the pain, emotionally, physically. You know, actually, in uh, Matthew. Uh, it talks about how Jesus, when he was going uh, uh, to the Garden of Gethsemane, before he actually uh, now made a decision that he's going to face the cross, he actually kept saying, God, please take away this cup from me. Please take away this cup from me. I do not want it. He did not. It was not an exciting experience for him. But he said, may your will be done. May your will be done. If it's okay, if it, if it, I have to go through this, then it is okay. You know, and I think for me, I ask myself, do I ask God for his will or do I just want things to be done my way? You know, Jesus had what he desired, but he actually kept saying, you know what? It's not my will. It's not my wish. It's not what I desire, but may your will be done. And so in life, one of the lessons, great lessons we learn is how to imitate Jesus. Actually, the best we can do is to imitate Jesus. I know we might not go to the cross. Actually, for me, I'm, I keep thinking if I was to go through the cross, I don't know whether I would have made it. Maybe I would even have died before, before I even was taken to the cross because of the torture, the torment, the humiliation, the pain, the struggle, the carrying of the cross. You know, they, they gave him a very heavy cross to carry. He kept falling down and he kept standing up and keeping on going and he kept going. And all along, he, he kept thinking about you. He kept thinking about me. And he kept thinking, if I don't go through this, 
My daughter will never have a relationship with me. My son will never get to experience a relationship with God. And so that kept him going on the cross. So as we read this, I think for me, the end of the story is more powerful. That today as we think about Easter, it is not so much the pain and the suffering that Jesus went through, but it is the victory that he had at the end of the day. That the third day, everyone thought that it was done. Everybody thought that, yes, wow, you know, he's dead. And, 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 and everyone, you know, had, they, like the Christians were already gathering themselves and they were full of fear. But the best happened when Jesus rose from that grave and the empty tomb was empty. The, and the, the tomb was empty. And the resurrection had happened. And dear ones, this is why we celebrate Easter. That yes, Jesus suffered. Yes, there was pain. But he overcame death. He overcame death. What is it that Jesus cannot do for you and I? If he was able to overcome death, death on the cross, that humiliating death, he was able to overcome it and rise up. And so today as we share this, as I share this, for me, it is the good news that the resurrection brought to you and I. The resurrection signified victory. And that's why today, as we talk about Jesus, we say he's our firm foundation. We say he is our victory. And if he overcame, then we surely can be able to overcome. I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know the challenge you're going through. For many of us whose children have done their exams, maybe some of us, we are looking for school fees. And that is the struggle right now. For some of us, it's the schools. And we are there. I know I'm one of those parents who are looking for schools and really praying. But I've told myself I'm not going to be afraid. If Jesus overcame, then we are going to overcome. And we know that our children will be placed in the right schools. In Jesus' name. I don't know, maybe for you, it's sickness. You could be sick right now. They are diagnosed with a very complicated illness that even the doctors themselves don't know the solution. Or maybe they are even treating you, but you're feeling like the end is nearing. Maybe for you, it is finances. You've been in this pit that you feel like it is, an, a, a, it is a bottomless pit. You've been falling from, you know, years now, you know, and you feel like, man, when will this end? When will this come to an end? When will I look back and say that, wow, it is finished? I don't know what you're going through, but I'm here to tell you that Jesus overcame. It was difficult at the cross, but he overcame. Jesus was victorious, and so we're going to be victorious. All we need to do is to take one day at a time. All we need to do is to keep trusting and looking up to heaven. When it got so hard for Jesus, what did he do? He looked up and he cried in a loud voice. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He knew that the only one who could save him was his father. He looked up to God. Today, dear ones, let's look up. To Jesus. Let's look up to our God for victory. You know, the resurrection signified hope. There is hope, my dear sister. There is hope, my dear friend. God has done it. There is hope for a new life. I don't know, maybe you feel tired with your life and you feel like, man, how can I start a new God can be able to do it for you. Don't you don't have to suffer in bondage anymore. You don't have to suffer in sin anymore. You don't have to be a victim of situations and circumstances anymore. God will get you through it. You don't have to be in self-pity anymore. God will see you through. Live confidently. 
because you know that your God overcame. We can live a secure and a peaceful life. And so with that, dear ones today, I just want to say thank you so much for viewing us. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And always remember to share the good news of Christ. Happy holidays, but above all, remember the reason for the season is that Jesus overcame and the tomb is empty. Love you all. Bye. Shalom.